Hello, this is Matt, and I am creating a tutorial, a walkthrough to create your account and get started with Roll20. If you are trapped inside for any reason due to the coronavirus or you just want to try out Roll20, the idea of this tutorial is to give you the, the basics of Roll20. This is not going to be an in-depth use and how to use all the macros and scripts and things like that. This is going to be what you can get with the free account and setting all of that up as well as just playing a basic game. Um, so let's dive right in uh, with creating your free account. You're going to want to roll, uh, navigate to roll20.net. Um, this is the landing page, and you can click the giant button that says create free account. You'll get some information here. You do not have to put your actual real first name and last name. If you are somebody who just doesn't like to uh, let people know who you are, you don't have to put that in. Um, I'm just going to put in my first name and then I'm just going to put a J in for my last name. Your email address is whatever email address you want attached to this account. Um, and then uh, you can just put in a password. Um, I don't believe they have any restrictions on the password. If I recall, my first password was relatively easy to hack. Um, then you accept the terms and agreements after, of course, reading them thoroughly. Uh, and then you can create your account. That's really all there is to creating an account. Um, this will pop up with the opportunity to make some games. Um, when you look at this screen, you can see that I have no games as this is a brand new account. And the upper right hand corner is a notification. This is when Roll20 wants to let you know stuff. Um, and this is just basically giving me more information about adding custom tokens and uh, things like that. Oh, I haven't seen this before. I'll have to look at that. Um, this button right here, the met is for inner mail. Like if a player wants to send you a private message, it would show here. Um, and then this of course is where you go to your account, your profile and stuff like that. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a game as obviously we want people to, um, to be able to play with us. Uh, if you are a player, uh, the join a game would probably be where you want to go. Although in all likelihood, you've received an invite, which would bypass this screen entirely and go straight to the game that you have been invited to. So you're going to go ahead and click create a game. Uh, the screen has divided into two basic sections, ex uh, sections. The one on the right is all these modules that you can purchase or use. If you are doing one of these modules, then I recommend buying them. Um, somebody made a lot, put a lot of time and energy into, uh, into creating them. However, if you've already purchased the module, uh, on, uh, paper and you are using it, and this is just a, a sidestep so you guys can continue playing D&D while everyone is... Uh, quarantined then uh, later um, I will show you how you can get access to some of these modules but you are required to pay for the pro account in order to do it uh, but that is something we will do in a tutorial farther down the road so creating a new game uh, you type in your game name uh, amazing game of amazement because my games are awesome and I can't spell Thanks, dyslexia. dyslexia. Yeah. Uh, this is where, say you were making a game that you wanted to post on Roll20.net as uh, telling people you have this game. There's an option in Roll20 that you can use to find games. And um, as a DM, if I was making a game and I was looking for players, I could put some tags in here, uh, such as 5e, such as uh, Saturday, um, and things like that to help uh, make it easier for other people to find my game. The other thing you want to do before you click that you're ready to create a game is you want to select what uh, sheet you use. Uh, this is best selected at this point um, because uh, once you make a game and start making characters, if you go to change your sheet, I have run into issues in the past changing my sheet. And so it's better to select it now and and find one that you like and use that. Um, and if you don't like it, then make a new game or, or change it. But uh, I, in the past, have had to make whole new games to change my sheet when it just did not work well to change it. So uh, the sheet I use is D&D 5e by Roll20. You can see that there's a preview here. It looks like the basic sheet uh, that you have in pen and paper with a couple added buttons on the top for whispering and rolling to the uh, disadvantage and advantage. Um, but this basically will look like your pen and paper sheet and um, your players will have the most uh, familiarity with this. You can see what it allows down here, drag and drop from the roll compendium, auto calculations, 
roll buttons, customizable skills, attacks, and spells, multiply multi-classing and custom classes, selecting setting up advantage, and of course NPC shapes with traits and rollable actions. That's really all there is to it for creating a game. So we're just gonna click I'm ready, create a game. There we go. We have the game. You're taken to the screen where you can see your game. Uh, and that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, you have created a game. Um, in the next video, I will go over what the screen is and launch into the game. Um, the desire is to keep these videos relatively short and easy to consume. So you have created an account, you've created a game, and in the next video, we'll pick up from there.